Y'all, it's that time of the season, man. Time to get shacked up. Be around some warm, cozy fires. It's getting a little chilly outside. You know, it's November. There's only one event in November that we care for, and that's Thanksgiving. You think of Thanksgiving, what do you think of, bro? The four Fs. Family. Fun times. Food. Because we all know we love, you know what I'm saying? We love food and that football. You know what I'm saying? But it's Thanksgiving time. Look, I already know across the world, you know, international, it, it's not celebrated. But, you know, here, us Americans. <laughs> We love to celebrate Thanksgiving. I've just been trying to get into the mood, to get in the festive moods, you know what I mean? It's the holiday seasons. We're just trying to get very festive, very cozy, you know? Like, it's Thanksgiving, I'm gonna be honest, Thanksgiving is probably one of the most slept on holidays in the world. Like, bro, I'm gonna show some love to Thanksgiving. And so I decided, and nobody else asked me to do this, which I don't know why I did this. I decided to get into the festive mood by watching some movies yep i watched some thanksgiving movies now you'll be asking yourself there can't be that many thanksgiving movies out there so i had to go out to my research and be like you know what where can i find the actual movies because i'm gonna be honest i looked at google and they suggested me spider-man like literally no cap like they suggested me spider-man as a as a thanksgiving movie i don't I don't see where the correlation is. Now, I'm gonna be honest, originally this was gonna be a Google suggested, but it turns out that the only two places that really got Thanksgiving movies is Peacock and Tubi. And I'm gonna be honest, 90% of this list is all Tubi. So yes, I watched a lot of Tubi movies. So we're gonna change the title to Thanksgiving Tubi movies. I'm gonna be honest, I had a horrible time. This was probably the most daunting, and nobody asked me to do it. That's the crazy part. Buckle up. If you're watching this on Thanksgiving, I mean, I don't know. You should be with your family. I don't know why you're watching this man on Thanksgiving. So let's just go through some of these movies. I'm going to be honest. It was dreadful. Get you some turkey. Get you some stuffing. I don't know. Get you some uh, mac and cheese and some cornbread or, you know, dinner rolls and Turn the football game off because you know the Dallas Cowboys is losing. Why are you watching the Cowboys game? You know they're going to lose anyway. Um, and then just watch your boy. He got first um, Black Friday. It wasn't really a uh, Thanksgiving movie. It was a right, I guess. It had Michael Ja White in it. If you don't know who Michael Ja White is, then... <laughs> You know, um, it's a zombie apocalypse movie. I think I don't know. I barely paid attention to it. Uh, the plot was kind of like, eh, wasn't really my favorite. Uh, a zombie apocalypse movie. It wasn't even really a Thanksgiving movie, so I had to give it like a two out of ten. Uh, personally, the customers are always. <laughs> Next, we have Turkey Town Miracle. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I think this was the first actual thanksgiving movie that i've seen on this list and, and and you'll be surprised when i say this uh it was just overall just a regular thanksgiving movie uh nothing too special very religious i'm not a religious man personally um but you know it was just the simple you know turkey miracle you know the father with no he, he had to raise his kids on his own or whatever you know typical you know Medea. he had a magical negro It was a, it was overall, it was just like one of those typical holiday movies. It wasn't really too, nothing too special. It was, it was all right. You know what I mean? I, I gave it a plus because it was in Texas. Yes, I already know my Texas bias. Overall, the acting could have been a little bit better. Uh, it was a, it was all right. I'll give it like a five out of 10. I'm Bobby. Next movie on the list, we have Pieces of April. I never seen this movie at all. It's, it looked like it was on, on the older side. It lived in an apartment and you know, it was pretty much a bunch of shenanigans, tomfoolery. It was one of those 2004 snacks movies, you know what I mean? April, the character, she was okay. Had just the stereotypical, you know, neighbors, you know, they had the black neighbors, the Asian neighbors uh, who did speak English for some, re for some reason. 
uh, so she couldn't use her use the oven. Uh, she was they, they were just down bad. Her family's trash though. I'm gonna be honest. Well, it was it was a uh, it was I. Right. I'll give it like a five out of ten. Next we have Friends Giving. Now I'm gonna be honest. This movie was. It was ass. I'm gonna be honest. It was one of those independent film movies. It was basically white people, friends giving. It was a lot of malarkey. Uh, they, I think they got high. They had an orgy, at some point. It was like a mockumentary style thing. It wasn't too special. I'll say it was like a three out of ten. The Turkey Bowl. Um, it was alright. It was, it was one of those white Thanksgiving movies the whole movie was basically centered around some guy who didn't want to be stuck at home for being like the hometown hero or whatever one of those type of movies the whole the whole movie is about the football game which i'm gonna be honest i swear i don't i've never seen families just play football after eating a whole thanksgiving meal i don't i've never seen that i don't know um i don't know if that's just like a non-colored person thing or what but yeah yeah, it was just basically the whole the whole movie was about them, I guess, finishing this football game that they had that never finished for some reason. I don't know. You're almost 40 years old and you're wearing Letterman's jackets. You really care about a football game from 15 years ago? Also, this movie is also in Texas as well. So it gets an automatic boost just because of that. Uh, they had the guy from uh, Blue Mountain State in that movie, too, which, you know, if you never seen Blue Mountain State, uh, you know, you just wasn't really inside for real. You was you was living your life. I was, too, but it was like, you know, you wasn't on Comedy Central. I understand. It, it, it's not. Or Spike. Was it Spike TV? One of those two. Um, overall, it was okay. It was all right. Six out of ten. Now, this next movie, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't expecting to like as much as I thought I would, but um, it was actually pretty good. So this movie was called The Best Thanksgiving Ever. At first, I didn't really like it because it was one of those independent films. But this independent film, I'm going to be honest, it was actually rather enjoyable. It wasn't as cringy as a lot of these other ones. It was still nonsensical, but it was one of the better nonsensical movies on here. The main character was kind of like, he saw his girlfriend get, you know, her back beaten. <laughs> and me personally, if I see that, I'm crashing out, honestly. His best friend typical i don't know jersey new yorkian uh staten island type of person look new york people Random disclaimer. staten island jersey people look i've never been up there so don't get mad at me y'all y'all sound the same to me y'all sound the same boston whatever i don't y'all all y'all east coast people y'all sound the same to me so it was it, one of those people he was the I, I don't know he eat hot dogs or something i don't know like he, he mad racist you know what i'm saying <laughs> The movie got kind of weird, though, towards the middle. They had this one random lady who, I don't know, decided to... She was a freak. I'm going to be honest. It was a freak of the friend. Uh, it was very interesting to see the see that they had a squirting contest. And I'm not talking about the turkey, either. One of the things in the movie is that she could squirt 10 feet. And then they literally watched his best friend have intercourse with this woman just to prove the point i didn't look i'm gonna be honest i don't know why they thought that that was that was necessary by all means i don't know i can't i can squirt 10 yards <laughs> no you cannot squirt 10 yards yes i can you can do it baby <laughs> i'm soaked in cum i'm gonna be honest the friend his best friend he was a horrible horrible person bruh he literally, he, no, he, that man was horrible. This man literally got into a car. I kid you not. He got into a car with some random ass woman. Was about to get, he's married by the way. About to get head from this random ass woman. And for some reason this random ass woman kept on saying. You don't remember me. He's like, nah, I just want to get that head. Which, you know, if your wife ain't putting it down for you. You know, I guess the man got to do something. Come to find out. The woman that he was about to get, well, she was damn near, she was already, you know, hitting some. Look at the lollipop a little bit. Turns to find out this was his one of his best friends in high school, who was a man. Of course you're gay. Yes. Do you have a cock? That was a, that was a thing. A and, you know, it's one of those things. I don't know what else to tell you.
which you know you wasn't you wasn't you know once you found out it was a man you 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 know what i'm saying like you was already down there about battle like what was the difference at that point i don't know the main character you know solves his problems uh you know gets gets the girl at the end you know the ex-girlfriend comes and sees her get that uh, sees him beating up some girls back and you know yada 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 and it was enjoyable i'm gonna give it a six out of ten y'all oh. these next couple of entries is going to start getting very bad i'm gonna be honest these were this is where i started to really hit the trash movies last thanksgiving now i'm gonna be honest uh, this one was a tough watch i'm gonna be honest this one was a tough watch simply due to the fact that it was just so bad it was it was bad it was like one of those horror hollow it was like a horror thanksgiving movie um like not even like close to the terrifier level of that it was just it was just horrible i'm indian they're called native americans i think the only redeeming quality was it was the fact that they had some bad aunties main character she was annoying she was like some meg character or something i don't know everybody hated her so you know rightfully so because she's mad annoying uh movie is basically about some cultist people i guess i have no clue they were they they were trying to redo a uh, tradition on tr thanksgiving by eating humans whatever and they had some jason Voorhees looking ass motherfucker out here you know doing their bidding and he was trash too bro um the whole movie was booty cheeks they one of the ladies got body by a cripple by the way i just i just put the scene right there bro <laughs> You can't take these people serious, bro. Like it, the man got the man was out here body. He would this movie would have literally ended if it wasn't for the fact that this the the awareness level of these people were just horrible. So I, I have no clue. Uh, it was two out of ten. This one after this one was the awkward Thanksgiving. Uh, this one was just as bad, if not even worse. I'm gonna be honest. I barely paid attention to this movie. It was just not even worth the time. There was a whole lot of shit going on. Um. Two out of ten. Let's move on, bro. I don't even have to explain it, bro. It was just, I don't know. Uh, man, let me just show you this scene, bro. You know we used to call them back in my day. Hold on, let me finish. No. That was literally in the movie. This was the whole movie. For my black people, people of color. I don't know why I said that. We're entering probably the worst Tyler Perry ass movies I've ever seen. I don't know what's up with black people and trying to make these type of movies to be like Tyler Perry. Um, Cause Tyler Perry movies are trash too. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know who else to, I don't know who needs to tell you this, but I'm gonna tell you this. They, they booty cheeks, I'm sorry. But these were by far, the worst movies i done ever seen uh out of all of them. i think the best one i've seen is probably the first one we're gonna talk about which is uh i forgot the name of it who made a potato salad this motherfucker oh, shit. who brought the potato salad now i'm gonna be honest with you i wasn't expected to like a lot of these movies this one was kind of more enjoyable uh, the main character was the guy who, uh, this guy, this guy right here. Oh, I think it was Steve Urkel. I think it was his name. Um, that's the only thing I, I've even known him for. Uh, he voice acted for some other things, but I don't think people really care. Uh, yeah, it was basically him being a cop and, you know, one of those typical black movies. Actually, not even black movies, just movies in general. The, the guy character brings home the girl, you know, to show to the family, get the family approval. He's going to try to marry her yada 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 and you know this one was one of those like he brought her to the hood she's from the hood family was country as hell i don't know what was going on it was the most blackest family of all time stereotypes literally out the out, out going crazy stereo every stereotype known to man the 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 drug dealer cousin uh black panther dad uh light-skinned mom 
typical stereotypical st st uh, move, uh, black people Hollywood stuff. So yeah, it was pretty much that. It was still enjoyable though. So I give it like a six out of ten. It was it was enjoyable. She walked like her pussy ain't no good. They literally had Debo in the movie. So you say it, walking beat your ass. Say it. Playing a character that he already played in. Speaking of low budget black people movies, this next one, I'm gonna be honest. This one was even worse. Honestly, take everything that I said about the first one and apply it to this one, but make it 10 times worse. Like put it on like, I don't know, what are those trash TV uh, shows? We got the Thanksgiving roast. Now I'm gonna be honest, this movie was absolutely trash. I'm gonna be honest. And maybe I'm not black enough, I don't know, but this movie was trash. It's literally the same movie as the first one that I just talked about. Just worse. And, uh, yeah, there was nothing really going on with this one. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about a get a minute thing. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit! That's a. What? I thought a nigga was trying to funk. Thanksgiving. Now I'm gonna be honest. This was a, this was a tough watch, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. God damn, this shit was trash. Um, I don't even know where to start. This was just as worse as the other one. I would say it was a little bit more watchable. Um, but it was still bad. The whole movie was them getting high for Thanksgiving. Hence the word Thanksgiving. I I have no clue. Um. Yeah, Young Jock is in here. Trigonometry. Here. Yeah. The whole movie was trash. Uh, not funny at all. Same plot line. They were going to find some weed or some. The uh, this lesbian woman robbed this white guy. They called him White Mike or something. They found a bunch of weed, trying to resell it back to this midget lady. <laughs> who so happened to be the weed dealer um the guy shits his pants oh, no, no, no. and yeah he's one of those stereotypical is this is just like the other character you know this whitey whitish black guy i guess i don't know why we made that a thing I'll be honest i have to say this because this scene was crazy because she literally lost her gun and all her drugs to to and, and her woman to this man um who just so happened just automatically just became straight out of nowhere uh so she decided to instead of taking a, a weapon that would actually do some harm she took one of her i'm gonna have to censor this but she she took one of her toys one of her toys with her you know what toys we're talking about and i'm not talking about the rose toy we're talking about the extra mr marcus 2065 edition i don't know whatever this whatever this is she took that and literally threatened people's life knocking people out with this big ass johnson Ladies, I don't know. I don't know if this is a thing that y'all. If, if y'all don't have a weapon, y'all are y'all are y'all using it? Are y'all using this? Like y'all y'all using the dragon toy to threaten somebody, knock them up. I mean, I guess it, it might be you know silicone. I don't know. It, it might be something dangerous. I don't know. We have to see. Uh, well, I, we, well, we don't have to see, but like you know, that's beside the point. <laughs> Let me help you. Uh, you want a little wet with oh. Family Thanksgiving. Now I'm gonna be honest. The movie was a three out of ten. Uh. I don't know what to tell you. The movie was very booty cheeks. Unwatchable. Well, not unwatchable. It was just, I don't know. It was one of those, it, a lot of these are independent movies. Um, the family was trash. The son was trash. It, no plot, really. There was really no plot. I don't know what was going on. It was just, it was just mad confusing. I don't, I don't, I don't know. He the the main character had a gold digger for a wife. The girls and I were wanting to do a little shopping and maybe go to the club later tonight, but I ran out of money. Let's get that money. Get it. But how else are you going to get in your aunt's will? Cozy next to your auntie and make sure you get a piece of that money when she dies. Hey. Talk to your aunt about her will. What? That is how you're going to get into that will before she dies. That you ain't got no money. I would have money if you wasn't spending it as if you had a job. Two out of ten. 
along. Yeah. I don't know what that was. So we had probably some of the worst, but also funniest <laughs> movies that I watched on this list. We have Thanks Killing. Yes. One and three. I'll explain in a second. First, we have Thanks Killing One. Nice tits, bitch. It's basically like a uh, Chucky or like a Leprechaun, but the it's the turkey that's the killer. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, it was kind of funny. I'm not, um, off the rip, first like first frame on both movies, just start off with straight titties. I'm gonna be honest with you, I I wasn't expecting that. Um, that turkey was horny as hell. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, that turkey was a menace. That turkey was out here. Look, y'all can just see for yourself, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, well, I can't show all of it though. You know what I'm saying? But now that this turkey was out here just killing, killing just these random people, and that was it. Apparently, Thanks Killing was supposed to have a sequel. Uh, uh, was supposed to be like a trilogy. Apparently, this is what they explained in the second in the second movie, which is titled Thanks Killing Three. Nice tits, bitch. In space. Thanks Killing 2 got shelved because I guess the first one was so bad that they didn't want to sponsor or get anybody to be able to do it. So I guess he couldn't sponsor it. So he had to shelve it. And the, pretty much the premise of the Thanks Killing 3 was all was pretty much Thanks Killing 2. But a bunch of bunch of worse, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Acting was ass. Uh the turkey was still funny though. They brought the turkey back to back from the grave and then they killed him again. Yeah, that was pretty much about it for that. Also, the turkey was out here battling a worm and some like, you know, I don't even know what, what you call this. What, what is this? What, like, what, what are you? What is that? Whatever this thing was, uh, a lot of booty hole play, literally. Like they literally they had to open a wormhole to, to get to, to send the turkey back and uh, erase his uh, existence through the, the man's booty hole. So yeah, that was that. I'll say these are, are these worth the watch. I'm gonna be honest, they, if you have literally nothing else to do and you wasn't forced to watch these like me, I would say you will probably have a decent time with it. I give Thanks Killing 1 maybe a 5 out of 10. Thanks Killing 3, which is basically Thanksgiving 2 or Thanks Killing 2, uh, a five out of ten. I say a five out of ten. They're both like you know they 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 weren't bad. They were bad. I would say the sequel was probably a little. It was something. I don't know. This was this was painful. Man. This was this was painful. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I look. I'm gonna start off with the best movie in the animated section. Uh, cause this is probably the shortest section. This tier list that we got going on. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna get it out the way. We got Free Birds. Now I'm gonna be honest. This is probably the most enjoyable movie that I watched on there. Eight out of ten for sure. A hundred percent. Eight out of ten. I think this movie was actually probably the best Thanksgiving non-Thanksgiving movie. And no, it's be not because I love animation and this, that, and third. I think it just generally was one of the best movies on this list. If I'm gonna be honest, uh, Free Birds is basically just some some bird, you know, saving his people. The animation was actually really good. I don't know if this was in theaters or not. I don't know if the Illuminations did this or not, but it was. It kind of gave a little illumination. Basically, it was a turkey going back to the past. Uh, that was it, and trying to stop the stop the turkey from being the Thanksgiving mascot. I guess. Yeah, simple as that. Yeah, it was. It was overall enjoyable. You know, he got him a little girl, which I'm gonna be honest. Uh, well, a little shouty. To be fair though, he was in the future, so he went back to the past. This woman is old enough. To be his great 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 now, I'm just going to be quite honest with y'all. I literally could not watch this movie. It was probably one of the worst animated movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, a lot of y'all complain about blue lock animation, talking about still frames and, and picture PNG movements. Watch Turkey Day. No, I'm being serious. Watch it. Uh, dental assistant. Mm -hmm. Now that's interesting. 
What am I thinking? I can't hold a 9 to 5 job? This Turkey Day was probably the worst movie I've seen on this list. There was no plot to this movie at all whatsoever. It was a holiday movie that was supposed to be a, a turkey that was supposed to save his place, I guess. I don't... Look. I'm going to be honest, I barely paid attention to it because it was just that bad. The animation was horrible. They literally were just sitting there. What haven't you attempted to do with me? And to me. We're not exactly the best of friends, Dracula. There was no actual animation being shown in this movie. It was literally just, just steel frames of them in just the same scene. The same five scenes the whole time. Everybody in this movie, the Easter Bunny... Frankenstein, Dracula, even the turkey himself and the elves, they were all just trash. Everything. And then they had some Jimmy Neutron, random ass Jimmy Neutron nigga that just came out of nowhere. It was just confusing. They went back to the past to go land before time to see some dinosaurs. I don't know. The dinosaurs, the dinosaurs made no sense. Like, I don't, I, one out of 10, bro. It was one out of 10. I wouldn't suggest watching this movie at all whatsoever. Wake up, filthy. Now we have probably the best movie I've seen on this list to this day. <laughs> this probably, I'm going to be honest. I know I said Free Birds was probably the best one. This is probably the best, hands down for sure. The Thanksgiving movie. <laughs> That's the bonafide yummiest holiday there is. <laughs> so yeah, I lied. This was probably the worst movie ever. Actually, don't watch it for yourselves. I, I wouldn't do that to you. I really just hold y'all right there. I would not. I would not wish this on anybody to watch this. I couldn't watch it. It literally, it it literally was unwatchable. I'm not even going to try to explain the plot because there was no plot. All the characters were trapped. What is this? What what is this? What is this? Whoever made this movie, they need to literally be in jail. In a deep sea prison somewhere like where Dolphamingo is. He does not deserve to have any type of animation, anything at all. I'm sorry. Ass. Trash movie. Zero out of ten. Worst movie I've ever seen. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! I want all of you to look at it! Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, that was my Thanksgiving tier list uh, or movie rankings. Uh, let me know if y'all want to do a part two of this. Uh, I wouldn't be down. I know I missed a lot. There was a lot. A lot of these movies have sequels. I only did one sequel because that was what was it was already there. So I had to, you know, uh, I know Thanksgiving Rose has a sequel. There's uh, plenty of other movies that I've missed. Uh, so I can do a part two to this. Uh, that's only if y'all, you know, y'all want to see this. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe for some more. If y'all want to see your boy, you know, suffer through some more horrible movies. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm never doing this again. Well, it depends on how well this video does. We'll see. I'm never watching that movie, though. This movie, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. Nah. I'm not watching that movie. Sitting on 13th wheelchair. Hella clean. I used to knit and sew, but now I'm off that BETV screen. <laughs>